ladies and gentlemen. Many of you know this woman as Janet Yellen. She is the U.S. Treasury Secretary. Well, she went over to Africa and she went to tour a slave trading post while she was there and spoke of the horrors and the nightmares of slavery. And she's over in Africa in Senegal because, you know, they're trying to mend their relationship with Africa, you know. And while she was there, she went to the door of no return on Gory Island. And then she gave a speech about how horrible, horrible the slave trade was. But at the same time, she mentioned that Biden administration is really not interested in the topic of reparations. So let's get into this story. So the U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen paid a solemn visit Saturday to a house on the island of Senegal that was one of the most recognized symbols of the horrors of the Atlantic slave trade that, you know, this trapped tens of millions of Africans in bondage for generations. Yellen in Senegal, as part of a 10-day trip, aimed to rebuild economic relationships between the U.S. and Africa, stood in the Gory Island building, known as the House of Slaves, and peered out of the door of no return, from which slaved people, enslaved people, were shipped across the Atlantic. She was guided on the tour through various corridors and tight quarters in the house, shaking her head in disgust at uh, what she was told about the economics of how slavery were valued. Gory and the transatlantic slave trade are not just part of Africa history, but part of America's history as well, Yellen said later in brief remarks during her visit. So this is what she said. We know that the tragedy did not stop with the generation of humans taken from here, she added. Even after slavery was abolished, Black Americans, many of whom can trace their descendants through ports like this across Africa, were denied the rights and freedoms promised to them under our Constitution. And you still deny us those rights and freedoms even to this day. That hasn't gone away. That's still alive and well. So later in the interview with the Associated Press, Yellen said that while promoting diversity and racial equality is a key goal, the administration, listen to what she says, the administration has not embraced reparations as part of the answer. That's what she said in her speech during an interview. So the economic benefits that uh, the majority of slave trading nations, including the United States, reaped for hundreds of years on the backs of unpaid labor could amount to tens of trillions of dollars, according to research on the commerce. And in the U.S., Africa, slaves and their children contributed to the building of the nation's most storied institutions, including the White House and Capitol, according to the White House Historical Association. Yellen acknowledged the ongoing ramifications of that brutal past in her public remarks. In both Africa and the United States, even as we have made tremendous strides, which you did not, you did not make tremendous strides, that's a lie, 
We are still living with the brutal consequences of the transatlantic slave trade, she said. So in a guest book at the house, she wrote that it served as an important reminder that the histories of Africa and America are intimately connected. Well, somebody better go tell uh, Governor Ron DeSantis this. Because he seems to think that African-American studies should be banned. All right. So she said, while I am pained by its past, I am also heartened by the vibrant community I have seen here. I take from this place the importance of redoubling our commitment to fight for our shared principles and values of freedom and human rights wherever they are threatened in Africa, in the United States, and around the world. Y'all don't care about our freedom. Y'all don't care about our freedom. You, you never have. You never have. You don't care about it today. So, you know, these words are very empty and hollow, but Hey, if you feel like you need to say these words to make yourself feel better, knock yourself out. Sure, don't make me feel better. So she's over there to try to um, repair the really bad relationship that the United States have with Africa. That's why she's there you know, and for economic reasons, you know, because we know Africa got the resources. So the House Financial Services Committee in recent years has studied how U.S. banks and insurance companies profited from the practice of slavery before it was outlawed in 1865. There have also been hearings on the study and development of reparations proposals in the United States, and that's about as far as they want to go. In an AP interview, Yellen said the administration was working in many ways in communities of color and low-income communities to try to bring more capital to advance lending and other things, she said. It's a critical important goal. And y'all, these are some hollow behind words. They're not going to do nothing. We, we have heard so many things similar to this throughout the years and nothing changes. Nothing. This trip over there and her waddling her behind through the slave trade post, this is not going to change anything. But since you are the treasury secretary, when you get back home, you can sit down and find a way to cut those checks and get that reparations out to us. So ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you think about Janet Yellen over there visiting Gory Island and her remarks, which means absolutely nothing to me. She needs to come over here, sit her behind down and get them checks out. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.